Check it out. I finished my slime. Yay. But I'm not going to keep it on because it is way too hot tonight. Uh, one week ago, Thursday, the uh, very beginning of Anime North pre-reg night, it was so cold and windy. It was like five degrees Celsius and everyone was freezing doing the badge pickup. Uh, tonight, Thursday, May 30th, uh, today it got up to like 30 without the Humidex. It's insane. Uh, but I guess that's spring weather for you. In any case, I want to talk about Anime North today. I had a really good time at Anime North this weekend. I didn't do panels. I did... I didn't attend any programming. Um, but it was still really good, so let me tell you about it. So I went Thursday night uh, just to pick up my badge and uh, registration package, that kind of stuff, get that out of the way. Um, nothing's really going on with the convention other than registration and weapons check on Thursday night. So we just did that, uh, got in the hotel, settled in, had dinner with my friends, just chilled, and was good. So Friday morning, uh, I woke up not particularly early, in fact I slept in as late as I could. Uh, went to have lunch with some friends at the sushi place, which was really nice, and then got into costume. I wore Mag on Friday, that's my Katamari cousin. I wore it with Chris and Alex, and we pretty much just wandered around outside and through the TCC in our costumes, uh, just having fun being Katamari cousins and having a really hard time seeing anything. <laughs> Uh, I was really happy to get to wear the costume again, though, because the head is so big, I can't really travel with it, like, anywhere. The only reason I even got it to Anime North this year is because a friend was willing to put it in the trunk of his car. So, thank you, Andy, for that. Um, I can't take it on the bus, and I don't drive myself. Oh, I do drive. I don't have a car. In any case, uh, that was Friday. Uh, we went to have dinner uh, once Dan the Video Ninja showed up, uh, along with my other roommates, Shauna and Squeak, and our friend Candice, who we met at G Anime and was there with Andy. And it was a good night. And that was pretty much it. We didn't like stay up super late partying. We just sort of stayed up late chatting and relaxing because like we're old now. So, I had to be like, yeah, we're at the rave, and no, we were across the street from the rave going, are they going to turn off the music yet? Yeah? Is it going to wrap up yet? Okay. And uh, now, Saturday, uh, I got into costume because I wore Midna, um, went over to the cosplay for a cure booth, uh, met up with a Zant cosplayer who did an amazing job, and we got photos together, and we walked around the TCC just a little bit. Uh, before going to the cosplay for a cure booth. So that was really nice. I uh, This was the last time I'm gonna wear Midna at a convention, so I'm really happy I got to meet up with her and get some photos with her. Uh, we got some really nice photos from the cosplay for a cure booth together, so I'm excited about that. Uh, the booth itself was awesome. I am so glad I got to help out with them and their fundraising. Uh, if you didn't catch my other videos, uh, Cosplay for a Cure is a fundraiser photo booth for the Canadian Breast Cancer Society. So they raise money uh, through offering photo shoots at cons. You can have shoots by yourself, you can have them with the girls there who are models. And they managed to raise a thousand dollars over the Anime North weekend. So congratulations to uh, you ladies and thank you so much for having me. And I would love to help you guys out again anytime you'd like. Uh, when I finished up at Cosplay for a Cure, I went to have a real quick dinner and then up to the Masquerade Green Room. I didn't compete in the Masquerade this year because I didn't even start the costume I wanted to make, but that's okay. Uh, changed out of Midna and into my sloth because sloths are awesome. Uh, and then ended up sort of doing uh, running stuff and wrangling cosplayers for the uh, masquerade backstage. I really enjoyed having that job for the masquerade. Um, probably the next best thing to being in the masquerade. Um, 
it's nice to get to hang out backstage because I have a lot of friends who entered. I get to poke at their costumes, get to poke at other people's amazing costumes, um, and I get to help people. Um, that's the main thing. I mean, like, the chatting and the poking people's costumes, that's like once my job is over and I can just hang out um, doing my job. It's just like, okay, getting people where they need to be, uh, helping them if they can't move, figuring out what's going on, getting people places when they're supposed to be places, and I like doing that. Uh, that being said, I hope I won't have the job next year because I hope I can enter the masquerade next year. <laughs> So we'll look for that. Um, by the time the masquerade was over, uh, my feet were absolutely killing me from wearing uh, dance flats all day in Midna, and then sneakers running around, like crappy sneakers running around in my sloth at night. So again, we just went to a hotel room. We had a few people, just a really quiet, really, really quiet party in our room. So there was like seven people, and it we, we nothing got broken. Or even bumped into. <laughs> and Sunday was another working day for me. Uh, Sunday was uh, working backstage for the fashion show, uh, which was, again, fun to do, pretty straightforward. Uh, everybody knows what they're doing already in the fashion show, so it's not like people going crazy and not understanding what's going on. And since it's not competitive, you don't have a lot of people getting really nervous and antsy and anxious. Uh, it's more just like, okay, we're gonna go out, we're gonna show off the beautiful clothes we have, and that's done. I wore pepper pots to do that, and I got my clipboard done, which I had been working on ahead of time. I got a lot of things done for this uh, con, which impressed me, considering I really didn't feel like working on much ahead of time. So, uh, I can't show you the clipboard right now because it doesn't look good in the lights, but take a look at this. great! I am so happy with how that turned out. Uh, I pretty much just have one photo and again the clipboard doesn't show up because of the lighting and I'm personally not happy with my pose but I only have the one photo so there I am uh, at the green room for the fashion show on Sunday. Uh, after the con I uh, had dinner with friends again. This is a really good con for just like making time to go out to the restaurants and have dinner with friends. Um, in fact, the whole con in general, what I really liked is that even though I was staffing and even though I was working and I was at the booth, it was really nice to get to see so many of my friends and so many other people and cool cosplayers and actually have time to, for the most part, have time to actually like chat and say hi and hang out, maybe have a meal. So I think that's part of the, well, no, that's a huge reason I had such a good time at Anime North this year. So I have probably rambled more than enough now. I uh, just kind of want to wrap this up then again with a big huge thank you uh, to all the friends that I saw and hung out with over the weekend. There's far too many of you to give individual shout outs to, uh, but love you all. Um, the cosplay for Cure ladies, uh, including Casey and Gina and Amanda for doing photos all weekend, and all of the rest of you, you're all amazing people. Uh, of course, the masquerade staff and the fashion show staff and just the cosplay department in general. You guys, oh, I love for everybody. That's that's what I've got right now. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for making my weekend wonderful. And so that's it for Anime North. Uh, in terms of other stuff, though, well, um, a couple days ago I sprained my ankle, so the nine days I had to prepare for Colossal Con between Anime North and going to Colossal Con, uh, those have kind of gotten a little messed up. Um, my ankle's mostly better right now, and it's, it, you know, it's only taken a couple of days, but those are a couple of days that are kind of important when you only have nine days to get ready. So I don't know what I'm gonna have new, if anything new, for Colossal, but I have plans for something which should be pretty cute, at least. So, uh, we'll see how that turns out. Um, after Colossal Con, uh, the end of July, I'm doing Con Bravo. Immediately after that, I have just decided tonight to try to go to Atomic Lollipop. 
and then in October is gonna be Unplugged Expo. So that's what I'm gearing up for. Um, please excuse the noise of traffic outside. That's what I am going to be gearing up for uh, over the summer. Hopefully I can uh, get my butt in gear and actually make the things that I really want to make because there's some things that I really want to make. In any case, check out all those other cons. Links for everything will be in the doobly-doo. And it's time for me to go to bed. And by go to bed, I mean watch some more Game of Thrones. All right, bye guys. All right, go.